Let me help you out of your chair, Grandma. Grandma. Hey, man, it's Randall from Clerks, and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Rubber City. Isn't that what they call James Franco's bedroom? Guy orders condoms by the pallet. All right, gentlemen, for the title. Last week on RCW Global. You got control here, Josh. You got this. And I told him he wants to be here, but I told him he's going over there. But he wants to be here. Rev, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Josh, you have control. You're a man. Can you put him over there? Yes. Or do you want me to put him over there? Whatever you're good with. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. You stay there. You don't move. Stay out of there. You got this, brother. Ready? You got this. All right. No. Stop. You got this, brother. Stop. He's a, he doesn't have any control over you. All right, Corbin, last week on RCW Global, we saw Josh Cortez, a.k.a. Schizo, versus Blackhawk. Corbin, we saw what happened. For those that didn't know what was going on, Blackhawk and Josh Cortez are friends. Josh doesn't like Schizo controlling his mind, but he can't seem to shake it. So that's where Blackhawk and the Italian Norm. beast, Norm. Ken Seminara, step in. No, wait, wait, wait. And like, right close. here, like when we flash back and we watch it, we watch Blackhawk come up to center ring and then turn his back on Schizo. Who no. turns well, Corbin, their back Corbin, on he didn't turn his back on Schizo. He turned his back on Josh Cortez. And then all of a sudden, when Schizo thought he was going to lose the match, that's when he the took mask over. The comes on. Bam. Schizo comes out. Bam. Blackhawk down for the count. Just unresponsive. Out cold. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up-close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW. Rubber City Wrestling presents to you RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. What did you make me do? Schizo, what did you make me do? You attacked Blackhawk. Why couldn't you just stay out of it and let me do it on my own? Because you're weak. You've been weak. You don't control me. You can't tell me what I can and can't do. As long as I have this, everybody is in for a rude awakening. Everybody is going to get destroyed. <laughs> I'll make them suffer just like I made you suffer. Just like I made Max Cortez suffer. All right, Corbin, it is time for the opening match of the night. Spike St. James takes on the newest RCW signing, Lionheart, Corbin. Mike, RCW is on a roll grabbing these independent wrestlers. Already made a name for them. We had Lottery a couple weeks ago. Now we have Lionheart, another fantastic addition to RCW and my boy Rick Lee you know he's there somewhere he's gonna be cheering this on well uh, obviously RCW 
has opened the checkbook. They've gone and got some free agents, which is great. But let's let's be honest here. I think Spike and Lionheart are friends. You saw the camaraderie right before the start there. I mean, this 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 could be a great first impression for Lionheart. Well, Spike might need to make friends because Lionheart clearly has a little bit of a size advantage. I haven't seen Lionheart. It's his first first match here at RCW. But coming in, coming straight in, coming for Spike, pretty ballsy. Well, either that or Spike wanted to let his friend in and, and obviously have a great match. But obviously, both men, neither one starting off with the upper advantage here. It's just been a couple of holds and a break. Now they're sizing each other up here. Spike getting the crowd involved. Wait a minute. Who's that I see off to the corner there, Corbin? Your boy taking an interest in this match. I am absolutely sure that your role model wants to make sure that when people come in, they're trained appropriately, they have the right mindset, they right, have the right agility, the right focus, and that's probably Rick Lee in the corner giving him some some helpful hints on how to make sure that he's the best wrestler and, and with all his experience, ways to take advantage of Spike, I bet. Now, well, we'll see about that. We know that Lionheart does have a long-standing rivalry with the classiest man in the building, Scott E. Stevens. I can't wait to see those two lock horns in an RCW ring, but back to Spike. I mean, starting off right now, he's got that, that arm, that wrist trapped behind. Now he's going with that side headlock. And obviously neither man able to get this advantage to start the match. Just a lot of back and forth between Lionheart right. and Spike. We'll probably gotta do a little bit of feeling around, making sure they understand like how each of them wrestle. There we go, Lionheart down. And again, oh. that, that, that submission hold, trying to pull that shoulder right out of socket, Corbin. Not a good place to be. Oh, oh, Lionheart with a great reversal though to break the hold. Back up. Oh, he caught Spike. Oh, oh Spike. Oh, what a backbreaker. Oh. oh, he held on. Corbin, he held on. Oh, oh back to back. Oh, breaker. wow. Now he got that slam. Oh, man. The cover, a two count, and a kick out by Spike St. James. I mean, Corbin, that was able to hold on to the backbreaker and then put him down with that sidewalk right. slam. You might say he spiked Spike. Oh, I knew that was coming. Anyway, here we go now. Lionheart <laughs> has the headlock locked in on Spike. It's good to see Referee Joe back. It is good to see Referee Joe back. I mean, obviously. Spike, look, you can watch Spike try to get the advantage of Lionheart, but Lionheart is just too big, and that's going to be a problem for Spike. Well, we know that Spike has taken on Giants before. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. So I, I, I don't doubt Spike. There's a cover Lionheart able to, to get Spike down, but Spike can't keep him down. Quick kick out. Referee Joe making sure that it's not a choke, but there you go. There's that martial arts background of Spike St. James using the power of those legs, Corbin, to get that those head scissors in. Lionheart, though, what a reversal into the pin. Wow. Wow. And a two count. Wow, I don't know if Spike saw oh, that coming. Double no, axe handle in the back. And you know and again. that coming. And his face and a back. third time. Wow. Lionheart show, taking no prisoners right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Submission hold is being applied. Submission hold is being applied. Oh, no. That could be it. Oh, no. Stretching him out. Stretching him the, out, Corbin. Back, not on the mat. There you have referee Joe down, looking at making the shoulder sure, blades. Yep, making sure the shoulders aren't down. If they are, he could he could go for the pin. Oh, but oh. Spike. Oh, what a, a lethal what a cheap sh shot. Oh, a cheap shot. Oh, Come cheap on, shot. Jordan. That's you not a cheap shot. You can't no. hit in the throat. No, oh, stop Spike it. Spike said James think... hit him in the throat. No. That's not right. I don't think so. What a way to walk oh. the RCW. Stop it on the arm. Stop it on the chest of Lionheart. Spike St. James. Oh, he's got the arm extended. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. From upstairs. Driving the knee right in between. Up oh, there's a cover. One and a half. And a kick out by Lionheart. One, two, and again a kick out. Oh, no. oh my goodness, now he stomped on the folded arm. Ah, ow, that's got to hurt. That's going to leave a mark. Leave a mark? It's going to leave his arm in place. Well, we know Corbin Spike. Oh, wow. Spike will get his shot at the RCW Light Heavyweight Championship August 14th. That's right. Art of War, I can't wait. Art of War at the Akron Turner Club. Tickets already on sale. Better hurry. 
better hurry if you haven't bought tickets yet. You don't want to miss out. Going to be a fantastic event. Spike now got the arm oh. extended again. This time it's the left arm of Lionheart. Oh no. Spike, don't break it. Spike standing now. Oh! Trying to dislocate no. that arm and that elbow and the shoulder. Oh my goodness. Spike into the cover. One, two, and a kick out again by Lionheart. Showing that he does indeed have the heart of a lion right now. He doesn't want to quit. Corbin. He certainly does. And obviously, both men back to their feet now. Uh oh. There. Oh! The, the atomic drop. Oh! He went for the Insiguri. He went for the Insiguri, but I don't think he caught it. Spike with a super kick. There's a cover. One, two, and three, Corbin. Oh, my goodness. Here is your winner, Spike St. James, and what a way to kick off RCW Global. We'll be right back after this. Hey guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Brent. And we are the hosts of a Swing and a Tribe podcast, and we're part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Yeah, we're really just a couple of fans who love Cleveland Indians baseball. So if you love the Tribe, please give us a listen. You can find us anywhere that podcasts are available. Mike, tell us where they can find us on social media. On Facebook, you can find us at a Swing and a Tribe MLB podcast, and on Twitter, at Swing and a Tribe. Go, Go Tribe! tribe. Remember the matches at the old Akron Armory? Like back in the 70s and 80s when professional wrestling was real and we weren't being force-fed this sports entertainment crap? RCW does too, which is why we are bringing the sport back. Saturday, August 14th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, when Rubber City Wrestling presents The Art of War. This event will feature nine exciting matches in total and features many of your favorite RCW wrestlers. Tickets are on sale now, $12 for general admission and $18 for the front row. Doors open at five, bell time is at six. For more information, visit facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. The blue. Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays and RCW Global Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. All right, Corbin, it's time for the Thursday night throwback match of the week. Die Hard the Hunter versus Sonny and Alini Corbin. We, we've seen, we just saw these two two weeks ago right, in the throwback the, match. Top Guns yep. versus both Andalini brothers. Well, there were four Andalini That's brothers, true. I remember. But, I mean, obviously, Sonny Andalini, he's known as the muscle in the Andalini family. Both he and Frankie have short fuses, but, you know... Each of them accuse each other as to who's got the shorter temper, I guess. I don't know, but... Well, that's got to be the Italian side. How do you even, how do you even measure that? Well, Die Hard being the real-life army ranger that he is, he doesn't like and the Andalini's anti-American attitude. I mean, and he's declared war on the Andalini's. Here we go. Look at that! The Hurricane Ron ascending. Sonny Andalini flying. And there's Die Hard the Hunter, who we'll see... August 14th at right. the Akron Turner Club. He's going to defend his RCW light heavyweight championship versus Spike St. James, who we just saw in the opening match. That's going to be, I think that's the main event of the evening, Corbin. That in itself is worth the price of admission. Sure, but uh, while we're talking about the art of war, what we're missing is it looks like all the Andalini brothers are actually. Oh, no. They're, you know they don't, you know they travel together, Corbin. They don't travel by them one at a time. They're all together. Oh, there's Sonny. Sonny's got him. Just dragging Just him, dragging him across that top rope. Oh, my goodness, what a slap. And a punch, one, two. A second one. Oh, he's got Die Hard. Oh, what a suplex. 
I mean, obviously, Die Hard in a bad way. If he's got to deal with all four of the Andalini brothers, I mean, there's Frankie right there calling the shots. Sonny helping him to his feet. This is like a scene out of the Godfather movie. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What a back elbow. And Sonny drives the elbow into the chest. The cover one, two. Oh, ho, ho. and a kick out at two and three quarters by Die Hard the Hunter. Sonny not pleased about that. The ref having a couple words with Sonny. Meanwhile, Die Hard takes advantage of Sonny's distraction. Here oh, he is oh, there's the kick. Oh. I mean, obviously, being a real-life Army Ranger, like, he knows he's got eyes in the back of his head. There we go. Oh, look at that. Frankie pulling Sonny out of harm's way. Die Hard asking for the count. He's out of the ring. Yep. Get that 10 oh, count started. Frankie now up on the apron. Come on, Frankie. What are you doing? Oh, Die Hard. Oh, oh what a slap. Oh, and a kick. Oh. And a kick to boot. Sonny tried to sneak up on Die Hard, but Die Hard was ready. There's a kick. Oh, there's another. Uh, there seems to be another Andalini in the ring. I can't tell which one it is. Oh, oh, what an uppercut. Oh, and another one. The ref I can't believe the referee is letting this match go. It's four on one, but Die Hard able to clear the ring. Uh oh. Oh no. Frankie's got Die Hard tied up and now at the the double team. Where's the bell? Oh, oh, oh no. Sonny punches his oh, brother. Oh no. Quick dodge and Sonny takes out Frankie. Oh giving no. Giving Die Hard a quick chance. Where's the rep? Is the oh, rep Die Hard just gets pulled out of the ring by another Andalini brother. Now come on. This is enough. Enough's enough, referee. Either call for the bell. I mean, this is a mugging right now. This is a four-on-one mugging. They throw, I mean, they throw Die Hard back into the ring. Sonny's got him up. Oh, no. Oh, he's got him up, Corbin. Oh, my goodness. Over and out. Oh. Down is Die Hard the Hunter. Corbin, I don't know if he's getting up from this. He looks like he just played a game of Frogger and lost. There's the cover. One. Two and a kick out by Die Hard. Oh my goodness. Die Hard's got the, the American blood pumping through his veins. That gumption, the Rocky music playing in his head. Probably. Oh, there's a shot. Down he goes again. And again, the Andalini brothers. What is going on here, Corbin? I don't understand. Oh, we'll be right back. Right after this. All right, Corbin, my mistake. We did not go to commercial. What we missed there on the graphic that popped up on screen, Die Hard the Hunter actually handcuffed Frankie and Michael Andalini. They're, they're handcuffed around that ring post. Now Die Hard's got more of a chance. He right. took out two Andalini brothers. Right, there you see him in the bottom left hand of the corner, just struggling. No way to get out. There we go. Sonny's got Die Hard back up again. Oh, Die Hard's going to flip it over. Die Hard into the ropes. Oh, he got it. He got it, Corbin. That's the bombs over Baghdad. There's the cover. One, two, three. three. Die Hard. And Die Hard the Hunter. Woo. What a way to end that match. Wow. All right. Hope you enjoyed the Thursday night throwback match. We'll be right back with the main event of the evening. Don't go anywhere. Sexuality was never in question. Oh no! Did you really bring the participation trophy on DVD after a match? Yes, you just gotta watch who you're poking, man. No, I poked the bear. I wanted you to think I was still a referee. Adorable. I like when little dogs bark too. I said what I said. Yeah, you said what you said. You were wrong. Poking the bear. Get your head straight, man. Get your attitude right. You might know him as the guy that's staring at the lights during wrestling oh, matches. That's all I know. Yeah, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. You know how I know? Because of science. Argue that. This guy hit me in the head with a platter at the last show. He beat this man at his own game, and he's upset about it. He can't handle loss. Well, now he knows loss. You are definitely my dream match. RCW Spotlight, Sundays at noon Eastern Time on the RCW Network. Remember the matches at the old Akron Armory? 
Like back in the 70s and 80s when professional wrestling was real and we weren't being force fed this sports entertainment crap, RCW does too, which is why we are bringing the sport back. Saturday, August 14th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, when Rubber City Wrestling presents The Art of War. This event will feature nine exciting matches in total and features many of your favorite RCW wrestlers. Tickets are on sale now, $12 for general admission and $18 for the front row. Doors open at five, bell time is at six. For more information, visit facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. August 14th, 2021, RCW is proud to present Art is War. And rumor has it, yo boy has a rematch against Miles Jacobs for the All-American City Championship. Now, Miles, you know, and I know, that you're thicker than me. You're stronger than me. You have a huge physical advantage over most of the RCW locker room. But where you fail to utilize that is... Right here in your own head, you get way too angry and caught up, which makes you vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, you make irrational decisions, like low-blowing somebody to retain your title. But hey, trust me, that won't ever happen again. Because on August 14th, when I take your title and put some prestige behind it, you and everybody else will see exactly why I'm the prodigy are you looking for a job I mean seriously do you want a job then get a hold of ASAP staffing ASAP staffing is located in Barberton Ohio 165 Second Street Northwest phone number is 330-203-3106 remember the matches at the old Akron Armory like back in the 70s and 80s when professional wrestling was real and we weren't being force fed this sports entertainment crap, RCW does too, which is why we are bringing the sport back. Saturday, August 14th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, when Rubber City Wrestling presents The Art of War. This event will feature nine exciting matches in total and features many of your favorite RCW wrestlers. Tickets are on sale now. $12 for general admission and $18 for the front row. Doors open at 5, bell time is at 6. For more information, visit facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. All right, Corbin, it is time for tonight's main event. This for the RCW Global Television Championship. Your role model, Rick Lieb, defending his title versus Jeffrey LaRoque? Hey, Jeffrey. Well, you know I've been saying it since the beginning, Michael. No, when you have a heart as big as your role model, you'll let anybody in the ring. I don't. I didn't even know Rick had a heart, to be honest with you. He has, doesn't have a heart. Uh, he's very, he's, I mean, he cheats to win. We no. can we can start this whole thing again he's if you want. He's the most considerate guy. There it is, RCW. look at that beautiful title. I mean, I'm a little surprised that he gave Jeffrey this title match, but I heard he, he granted the match because he felt bad for Jeffrey. Right. Maybe he's human after all. 
Jeffrey wasn't supposed to wrestle in RCW again, but was told last week, you remember, that he could be reinstated if he wrestled a fill-in match against James Lethal. Jeffrey yeah. showed up. And James Lethal destroyed him. And But, hey. So, so Jeffrey LaRoque is back. And here, Rick Lee, your role model, giving him a chance to, for a bell. Well, Rick right Lee is going to have his hands full. He is facing Justin Bradley at the Art of War. The belt's not on the line, however, because it can only be defended on television. But if Justin Bradley wins the match, he gets a shot at the title. Corbin, that's big. That's it's very big. big. It's big. There we go. But we'll see. But, but we haven't seen Justin Bradley in a long time. But I think Justin's getting ready to go. I think that on August 14th at the Akron Turner Club, Art of War, He's coming, and he's coming for Rick Lee. Maybe, but Rick Lee has been here. We've been watching him. We're watching. We're watching. And look at him. Look at, look at oh, his experience. Jeffrey able to grab the ropes. I mean, that's a smart move by LaRoque. I mean, this could be huge for Jeffrey. Could he pull one of the greatest upsets of all time? Well, let's not get carried away. It's your role model. It is, but right. even even right. champions can overlook their opponents every once in a while, Corbin. It's the role model. Oh, what a knee to the <laughs> wow. midsection. Forearm to the back. And now he's stomping on the roke. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. The oh, role model is. seems to flip oh, the switch. What a Off suplex. Oh, now he's doing, look at him. He's doing push-ups. <laughs> he's doing push-ups. What a classy move. Wow. Oh man, snap over now, Jeffrey in a world of hurt. Now I oh. wonder, you gotta wonder if Jeffrey's not wanting this match now. Well, I think Jeffrey's happy to be back in the ring. Right. I think he's super ecstatic that he gets a title shot out of it. No, he, and he could, I mean, could you imagine? That could change the entire, the, the entire live event that's coming up on August 14th if Jeffrey wins the title. One, oh, and a kick out. I mean, you gotta wonder, Justin Bradley's watching this oh, match. Oh, oh my. Wow. Stomp to the face. Rake of those eyes by the boots of Rick Lieb. There's a, oh my. One, two, three knees to the side of the head. And, oh, there's that running knee. It found its mark. LaRoque in a world of hurt. Rick Lieb helping him now back to his feet. LaRoque may be blind after all those knees to the oh, face. Now they're down in the corner. But you just wonder, is, is, is Rick going to have to cheat to win this match, Corbin? Well, since I haven't seen him ever cheat, I don't know why he would do it on this you match. Must be, are you related to Stevie Wonder or, or, or Ray Charles? They're both blind, as are you. Anyway, there you go. LaRoque showing signs of life, wow. Corbin. Wow. LaRoque. Come on, Jeffrey. Good, clean break. That's what we like to see here at RCW. Good, clean breaks. Not cheating. As there's somebody in the ring who knows all too well about cheating. Right. Referee Joe, because Not he knows what to look for <laughs> so that it doesn't happen. I wasn't meaning Joe, but okay. There you go. LaRoque now. Oh, he's got snap. He snapped him over. LaRoque. Oh! There's wow. a neck breaker. There's a cover. Corbin, one, two. And Lee may able to kick out. Oh, my goodness. LaRoque may have had it one right there. Oh, but now. Your role model not happy that LaRoque got those shots in. Oh, here we go. He's going to send him across. Lee, oh, oh, vicious clothesline. Oh. A vicious Done. clothesline. Done. All right, he's going to the ropes. There's the spinning Landell elbow. It finds its mark, Corbin. Uh-oh, the beginning could be near here for Jeffrey. Rick Lieb talking to the camera, letting Justin Bradley know he means business. Uh-oh, Corbin, it could be 4-H time. And Corbin, it's 4-H time. Rick got all of it. I think you can count to 100, Joe. This one is over. And there you have it, your winner and still RCW Global Television Champion, your role model, Rick Lieb. You should say that again. Your champion. Well, that's a way to end RCW Global Episode 66, signing off for Corbin Shadow. I am Michael Voorhees, and we will see you next week.